this is one constant spring support and this is one constant spring hanger functionally both are same the mechanism of constant spring support or constant spring hanger is little bit complicated compared to variable spring support to explain the mechanism i have drawn the sketch of one constant spring hanger where hanger rod hangs in case of bottom supported type constant spring support instead of hanger rod load column pipe will be there on upper side of load pivot point to support the pipeline as like variable spring support spring is kept compressed by piston plate and spring tension rod is connected to a lever called bell crank lever you can see the compressed spring and spring tension rod after opening the spring casing bell crank lever can rotate with respect to fixed main pivot point shape of bell crank lever is v shape having one arm smaller and other arm longer a small horizontal displacement of spring pivot point gives huge vertical movement of load pivot point from where pipe is supported or suspended thus we can get more vertical movement using constant spring support now you can see the bell crank lever inside the constant spring support bell crank lever is kept in locked condition by a pin or rod which should be removed at site after installation and testing of the line spring data like cold pressure load hot load vertical movement etc are indicated on the spring travel scale knob indicates actual vertical movement of pipeline when pipeline is raised up travel scale knob goes to right side upward and when pipeline comes down travel scale knob comes down now we will see how constant effort is achieved from a constant spring support while supported pipe moves up or comes down the main working principle of constant spring support is the effect of load movement about main pivot that means load into this distance is counterbalanced by an equal and opposite spring movement throughout the travel range that means spring load into this distance the bell crank lever is designed in such a way that the distance from main pivot changes to compensate the variable resistance of spring coil say at installed condition spring force is f1 moment arm distance between spring pivot and main pivot is a1 vertical load of pipe is w and moment arm distance between main pivot and load pivot is b1 so w into b1 equals to f1 into a1 after a vertical movement of pipe line red color indicates the changed position of bell crank lever in this condition say spring force equals to f2 moment arm distance between spring pivot and main pivot is a2 and moment arm distance between main pivot and load pivot is b2 then in changed position of bell crank lever w into b2 equals to f2 into a2 so w equals to f1 a1 by b1 equals to f2 a2 by b2 in this way at any vertical movement of pipeline constant spring support provides constant effort w